morning everybody. As some of you may or may not know, I ended up having to get another Mac. The one that I had, it was seven, going on seven years old and it didn't want to play nice anymore. It was constantly giving me issues about getting my videos uploaded and even like getting them to, to transfer over to it so that I can edit and upload and get everything out there for you guys for YouTube. I've had enough. About two weeks ago, two-ish weeks ago, I decided I was gonna get another one. Unfortunately, I couldn't pick it up, so I had to wait for it to get delivered, but thankfully it did. This is the 2020 MacBook Air. I never owned an Air. The one I was using was the MacBook Pro with Retina display. Now this one, this Air still does have Retina display, which is fantastic. But I stumbled across another issue, which is why this video is so late getting up to you guys. But if you look on the sides here, that is where the USB ports are, right? Yeah, what I didn't know, and I am sure it told me in the description, and I either just didn't look for it, or I saw it and just was like, oh, like it's the same thing. It is not the same thing. This lightning cable is not going to fit into these holes. Do you see my issue here? So what I had to do, and I had to wait for this to come in too, I had to order this little doodad. This is a USB-C to USB port. I think I have the letters right. So basically what I have to do is I have to take my iPhone charger, put it into this little thing and then from there I can plug it into my computer and that is how I can upload videos for you guys now. I'm hoping it's not going to give me any issues. This is actually the first video that I'm doing that I'm going to try it on here but overall like I was playing around with it. The screen is a lot smaller than what my other one was. I was running a 15 or 16 inch screen. This is 13 so we're going to give this a shot. So far I like it. I have no complaints whatsoever. We'll just see how it plays nice as far as uploading pictures and videos for you. I also have been posting a lot more on my Instagram page as far as workouts go. I figured it would be a lot easier for me just to like focus on Instagram for the workouts themselves and only show like a couple on YouTube just because I don't really get a YouTube video up for you as often as I would like to just because something ever really changes especially now with everything still being in quarantine so feel free go on my youtube channel i have about four four or five workouts posted for you just from last week and it'll be worth your while if you're not following me please follow my instagram you can find it at nmwilliams101417 today i am going to do some meals. I have no idea what I'm making yet. I haven't gotten that far, but I'm definitely going to cook something for you. Probably do a workout, I'm sure. Actually, I think I'm going to post a workout that I did yesterday or two days ago. I feel like that was a really good workout and I think some of you would benefit from that one more. So I'm going to post that one and then we're going to cook. And I am changing my diet a little bit. Well, not diet. I don't actually go on a diet, but just like what foods I'm ingesting. I noticed recently I have been eating a good bit of processed foods just because the grocery stores were like very, very hard to find different things that I actually enjoy. And I kind of like started to stray away from really the majority of foods that I've been eating. So I'm not going to eat any processed food. I am going to kind of like use like a bunch of like produce so I'm going to get everything fresh with the exception of my meats I still have to get like processed meats but you know I'm not like too too concerned about that I'm more worried about you know like not eating the ramen noodles not eating any like canned goods um you know like basically like that stuff like no junk food no pop if I want something that has like flavor I'm gonna like just either like drink my branch chain amino acids, excuse me, or protein drinks, or I'll have like flavored water that I get from Giant Eagle, which I've shown you in a couple videos. 
but I am not going to eat any kind of processed foods. So everything I make, again with the exception of my meats, is just going to be like real fresh produce. And I'm really excited because I miss it. And now Pittsburgh is kind of like transitioning into the yellow phase. We're set to go a little bit more normal on Friday. So I'm really hoping that people are gonna stop like stress buying and just get what they need to and just leave everything else to everybody who like shops like normal still. And that's what I'm aiming for. I also have an injury update for you. It is shrinking. It is shrinking significantly. Surgery is still not in my future. I'm hoping I don't ever have to get surgery because I'm terrified of surgery or even like the thought of being cut open. And I can basically do any exercise except upper body. I am still not allowed to touch upper body or lift more than five pounds, which is frustrating, but I've been doing this now for like almost three months. So I'm kind of used to it, but I can do more core. I can do a little bit more legs as long as I'm not like agitating the muscles. So I can do like, I can hold a weight. And as long as it's not like pulling too much, I'm okay. But if it does start to agitate my muscle, I need to stop immediately. But just the fact that I have a little bit more of like leeway, I'm okay with this. And what's really frustrating too, I guess it's not like really frustrating because it's muscle, it's how it's gonna be. But in the morning, like I will check it in the morning like faithfully because I'm just like, not paranoid, but I'm just kind of like, all right, are you still there? Like what's going on? Like kind of making sure it's not growing anymore. Because whenever it first started growing, or the first time we noticed it back in February, I kid you not, it was probably like that big. Like it started like on my chest wall and it probably like made its way like all the way like out to there basically. Super freaked out. But now like over time and me actually listening to what I'm supposed to be doing, not doing anything that's gonna like cause more injury, it's probably only like that big now. So it just like sits, if you can like really see like right there, like it's really not like super expanded. But in the mornings, you know, like again, like I'll check it and make sure it doesn't grow. And you know, like I have a hard time finding it. Like unless I'm like leaned back or like laying down, I have a hard time trying to find it. But then as the day goes on, and even though I'm not using my muscle or even on my rest days, it'll like get tense like our muscles do whenever we just had a workout like how you get swole and so because of that like it's hard like it, it's hard like your muscle is but size wise it's not growing which is fantastic my doctors are hopeful and hopefully hopefully i'll be able to start to do upper body by the end of the year i don't want to wait that long i'm really really hoping i don't have to wait that long but even if this lump does go away, like even if it goes away tomorrow, I'm not gonna be like, all right, like, let's go do upper body, like it's gone, I can do it, like, no. Even if it does go away completely like it's supposed to, I will probably still end up waiting another month on top of it just to make sure it really did completely heal. You know, I don't wanna be like, like with my back, for example, whenever I ended up fracturing my back, the pain went away, like the pain was gone whenever I first started doing physical therapy. I don't know if I just got used to it or if it really did just go away, but I knew even though the pain wasn't there, I still have to go through physical therapy and do the rehab I'm supposed to before I can get back in the gym. So I'm kind of treating it that way. You know, like I don't wanna like really push myself so hard that I'm gonna like re-injure it because I don't wanna do that, especially since I have even no idea how I did it in the first place, which is a really frustrating part. You know, I can't just be like, oh, okay, you know, it was from cable flies or the butterfly machine. Like, I don't know. So I can't just be like, I'm not gonna do that workout again. But I think, and I'm not entirely sure yet because a lot of it really does depend on how this heals, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing a chest day using like the machines and stuff. I think I'm just gonna use like resistant bands, push-ups, and some dumbbells, like free weights, but I'm not gonna go super heavy. Just enough to work those muscles without going crazy. And that's what I'm hoping for. But that's my injury update. That's what's going on in my life right now. Check out my Instagram. And I'm gonna post yesterday's workout and later on today, 
we're gonna make some dinner because I'm hoping I'll know what I'm making by then. So let's get to it. Just of the Sager Creek Farms chicken tenders. This was actually the first time I bought this kind of chicken. And I used it once and I was not impressed. The taste was good. But usually I'll buy the Giant Eagle Brain chicken. Just because it's always cheaper. You know, they have it, whatever. And they didn't have it the last time I went to the store. So I got this. Last week I made a, just like a chicken salad. Like a baked some chicken in the oven, threw it on a bed of spinach with some croutons. And I kid you not, like, okay, the giant eagle chicken tenders that we usually get are usually like, you know, like standard chicken tender size, about like that long, maybe like that thick, like anything else you really get, right? These chicken tenders, I pulled the first one out and it was good. I pulled the other seven out and they were seriously like that big. Like you would think it was like a chicken nugget, not a chicken tender. And I was like, what's going on? So I ended up having to make like 16 of these things. And this is the second bag that I have just because they were so small. And you know, again, the taste was good. The taste was not bad at all. You know, like flavor wise, I recommend this brand. Quality wise, don't do it. But anyway, so I have my chicken tenders here. I'm also going to use some of the, the, 
the Lalo, the Lalo, just plain breadcrumbs. I have one egg, and I also got my Pam non-stick spray. You know, you want to put that on the foil so the breading doesn't actually like stick to it and you lose all of it. That's for the chicken. Now for my potatoes, I'm using grapeseed oil, which I completely forgot to get out. I need to do that. I have some sea salt and just normal ground black pepper. And that's what we're doing. Let's get cooking. Oh, and don't judge. I know I've said it many times before how I absolutely hate things on my hands and my fingers. So yes, I am wearing gloves, like food cooking gloves to do this chicken because I hate how chicken feels. So I know, I'm aware, don't judge me. Don't put anything in the comments. It doesn't change the flavor of the taste. It doesn't change the flavor of the chicken. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. of fries in my air fryer so whenever you do this because it was like really experimental I guess I put just a thin layer on I didn't have any overlap and then I put them in the air fryer for 10 minutes took them out turned them put them back in for another 10 minutes and this is the result they look just like french fries which I guess I really shouldn't be too surprised but like they have like this real nice like crispy layer which is perfect because I really like crispy fries and I really want to try one. So I'm taking like this little itty bitty little fry here and I hope it tastes good. This is a thing. This is totally a thing. It needs ketchup, but this is a thing. Oh my goodness. I think homemade air fry potato, like french fries, are so much better than baked potatoes right now. And that says a lot because I absolutely love baked potatoes. Like these are so good. And whenever you saw me make them, like I use grapeseed oil, grapeseed oil, which is like one of the healthiest vegetable oil, like cooking oils you can get. I use sea salt, which is a lot healthier than like normal salt. And I only use a little bit of like black pepper to give them like a little bit of like a spicier flavor. Guys, you need to try this if you have air fryers. I am so excited. My chicken is still cooking. I still have about nine minutes left for that. Then I have to switch out the fries and all that fun stuff. So when those are done, I will definitely like give you like the grand like result of my dinner tonight because I will be putting, basically I think I'm even gonna throw the fries on top. Like I'm gonna end up putting everything on like a bed of spinach. I think like I'm kind of in like a little bit of a spinach mood and I might turn my chicken into like a chicken salad. I haven't decided yet, I'm not 100% sure how I want to eat it, but these fries are so good. I'm so proud of myself. I'll post the recipe that I used below. It really wasn't anything special or complicated. And then like, I can post like the breaded chicken too if you want. I don't think that's like super healthy, 
but it definitely beats like deep fried chicken. So baking it in its chicken. Panic except on my laptop. I like heard like that little ding. But yes, I will post the post my food for you below. And then like I said, once everything's done, I'll give you what my food looks like and I feel like I'm rambling, so I'm just gonna go for now. Here is what the chicken looks like after it comes right out of the oven. And I'm sorry the air fryer is like super loud right now. But here is what I am eating for dinner tonight. So I got my french fries with, of course, Heinz ketchup because that is such a staple here in Pittsburgh. You can only eat Heinz ketchup. There is no other ketchup. I also just kind of like put a bit of spinach down and then I have my chicken, a couple croutons, and just Mexican four cheese blend. I have it right here. It's just the Giant Evil brand of cheese. It's not too, too terrible for you. I only put like a little bit down and then you know the croutons are just the seasoned giant eagle croutons. I only wanted that for like an extra crunch. There is no dressing on my salad. I hate dressing. I can't find a dressing that I actually enjoy. I know for some of you people you consider ranch to be a food group and I can't do it. I've tried it so many times and I just I can't do it. But this is going to conclude my video for the day. I'm going to go ahead and eat up my food and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get this out to you by tomorrow as long as my laptop cooperates, which it should because it's new. So here's hoping and if that's the case, I should be able to get a lot more consistent videos out there for you too. In the meantime, head over to my Instagram page for all of your daily workouts and I'm hoping this is going to be like the end of this quarantine. Hopefully we finally made it to the home stretch and we can all get back to our normal everyday lives. And, but until then, you know, like I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. Hope you're staying active. And that's basically going to be it for now. So like always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on social media. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.